Hello MechWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online. Today, guys, we are playing the Osiris because I wanted to play something fast, something that is able to skirmish and something that can shoot some MRMs. And the Osiris 3D in the special variant here with the special camo and the seal bonus is a perfect mech for that. We have a nice little Inner Sphere 30 ton light mech that can move around the battlefield quickly and actually packs a punch. We are running an MRM 20 on the left arm because we only have one missile hardpoint and that thing can be utilized with a nice Nice MRM20 and then we have five energy hardpoints on the other side of the mech which we are filling with ER small lasers which have a range of about 220 meters so it's not great in terms of overall range but we have five of them and sometimes you know we are just in good brawling range and then we're gonna defend ourselves and shoot our enemies to pieces with 3.25 damage per laser. We have a quite respectable alpha strike of 36.2 damage for a light mech and we have a quite good cycle time for the small lasers and the MRM as well so we have DPS we have damage, we have mobility, and uh, the only thing that we don't really have is a maximum speed. So we only, quote-unquote, only run 127 kph for a 30-toner. It could be more for something that really wants to be fast, but luckily we have, again, our MRM that has about 500 meters range, which means uh, we can shoot at range, and at any point when we are not really able to get close to our enemies, we can just pepper our enemies with some explosive warheads and then just deal some damage to their armor and wait for the big brawl to unfold and then we're gonna go in when the enemies have kind of ground into our firing line and we are kind of safe to uh, to engage at that point. We also have a single jump chest and that's just for baseline mobility. This mech is not really designed to just get somewhere on the high ground and sit there. This mech is more a mech that wants to be mobile because we are missing one thing and that is ECM. We just don't have that so enemies will spot us. We're gonna do some hit and run stuff with that and then one jump jet is mostly enough. I was going for an XL220 20 because I wanted to save some weight as you can see we are just barely have enough heat management enough heat sinks to keep the mech viable so we have 10 total and uh, it gets a little bit hot because of that at some point but we will work around that with something that is not in this screen that is here. We have a good chunk of skills and we're gonna utilize that to keep the mech cold. But first of all, let's talk about the firepower tree. I was going for uh, the left side of the firepower tree to get the high explosive missile spread and missile rack here, but I only took one missile rack because I got one ton per 10 tubes here, which is way more than I would normally take. So quickly going back here, just wanna tell you what I'm talking about. We have two tons of MRM ammo for a single MRM 20, that means I don't necessarily need two of the missile rack nodes, but one is nice to have because we also get cooldown, heat gen, and another cooldown node down here. So therefore I was skipping range range and missile rack because I specifically needed some of those points uh, to put into other skill trees here. And as you can see, I'm not getting these easily available cooldown nodes here, not here, because again, the mech is too hot for that. If you fire fast, at some point you will reach your heat limit and then you cannot fire anymore at all because you are too hot and you don't have the cooling to sustain yourself. We also have laser duration for obviously our small lasers. We have five of them, so it's definitely worth it. And then of course, bit of range, bit of cooldown on the way down here. I'm skipping survivability altogether because in this build here, speed is of the essence. I wanna be able to zip around the battlefield fast and therefore I'm getting maximum speed tweak, all the good notes down here, as well as anchor turn, hard break, Torso pitch, kinetic burst, heartbreak, kinetic burst, heartbreak, and another kinetic burst, so we can accelerate and decelerate quickly. We also get maximum cool run, and this is where I was coming back to this whole heat discussion. Maximum cool run, good chunk of heat containment, so we can actually keep the mech cold. We got rate of deprivation, at the very least 60% of it, one, two, three, those three notes are very important. And then we got double cool shot, again, for a means of extra cooling, plus a UAV today. And that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now and if you have that as always don't forget to leave a rating subscribe to the channel for more daily content and now it's time to hit the battlefield Alrighty, first game of the day. We are playing the Hibernal Rift. We are playing Domination and I think I want to go to the right side to the Delta 3 area because there is a good spot that I can abuse. Abuse use for my advantage. So, we're gonna meet up with Mr. Cicada here. We will probably have some enemies popping up on that ridge in a second or maybe on the other side here. But again, I want to I wanna dispatch a little bit from the team. I want to be the flanker. I want to be behind my enemies and I want to shoot uh, above my, uh, beyond my optimal range, obviously. But anyway, this is gonna be my spot. Uh, is it gonna be? Let me think about it. I think I wanna try, hopefully not being seen, and it seems like we have our spot. All right, so I saw Nightshear earlier. Oh, I saw everybody earlier. Hi! 
<laughs> found him. So, my UAV did not come out in the first place, but now it is. Uh, found some enemies here. Look at that, Delta 3. <laughs> are they coming? Are they kind of trying to push this? Man, my legs are not looking great anymore. But I think I want to stick to this a little bit longer. Yeah, there's a Nova Cat that we can shoot. That's an ERP Nova Cat, though. I should really not engage that guy. We have still all of the people here. There's a big bunch of mechs who are kind of pinned down completely. Uh, hello, mister. Ooh, I really want to be here. But how do we do it? I mean, seriously. There is a... There's a dude guy. Mm -hmm. So, dealt some damage. But we have more skirmishes coming in. That's great. So, on the Annihilator... Oh god, I'm getting a lot of damage here. Hello. Can we, can we get some more? Man, grinding through an Annihilator with an MRM-20 and some small lasers is kind of bad. It's kind of difficult. But... I'm just gonna wait now. Alright, so now they are engaged completely. On the Annihilator, Foxtrot. Okay, let's go. Missiles are coming. That's bad for me. We're gonna try to dodge it. Holy crap, what a game! So crazy. All right. Oh, I'm completely jittering. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Ooh, that's bad. There was a Nova Cat with peeps in Delta 4. Be careful. Four PPCs. But maybe we can push that guy. All right. So let's see. We have an Arctic Wolf in our backs, but I cannot really do anything about him. He is running SRMs. Not gonna contest that thing. No. We are, again, the flankers, the harassers. Where did the PPC dude go? He must be here still somewhere. I mean, there is a Rifleman, and I kind of want to take it somewhat slow. Hey, buddy. Okay. Let's go for Lima. Yeah, that's it. Wolfpack assemble! LRM awesome! That is good. That's a really good target for us. Okay. Almost down. Come on, side tools and destruction. That's an XL. Perfect. And that is a Fafnir with LBXs, right? Probably. All right, cool shot. We need to get the Fafnir. Um... Get it? Get the Fafnir? No. Let's get to the center. Center, center, center. There was a Rifleman. He was kind of alone-ish. Uh, he's not alone-ish. But let's get the Rifleman anyway. Ooh, that's an LB-10. Yeah. That's an LB-10 Rifleman. I saw somebody there. Didn't quite hit him. And I think now it's time to disengage because my team is going somewhere else. Problem is... Oh boy. Should I? I should not. I do believe I should not engage that guy directly head on. So, we're gonna use our high ground situation. That's bad. Ooh, on the Fafnir. So, side torso destruction? Possible. I love that we have stuff on the arms here. Uh-huh. Uh, right leg is critical, but we're gonna get that guy now. Cool. So, cool shot is ready. We are six and six. My legs don't really look great anymore. But maybe we can get things done. Cool shot, definitely. But I have... Oh, I have a Locust on my tail. Oh, wait, we can kill that Locust. We're gonna go for it. Locust is killable. One shot. Ah, oh, bad shot. All right, let's go. I'm gonna try to stick on... Yeah, on his tail there. Oh, we have the Rifleman. And he's gonna lag me. We gotta really get to the high ground once more. Get the Locust. He's one shot. That's my arm done. All right, okay, we lost some lasers, but that's okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Seven and eight. Still standing. Still in the fight. Okay, we gotta duck down now. Can we kill that Executioner? I do believe we cannot. Oh, boy. Are you? Oh, God. There's everybody everywhere, and they still have so much. Locust is still there, and I think he actually got the kill on me. What a crazy game. It looked like we, um, uh, we were so fast and so small and so little in terms of tonnage, and they had such a massive heap of metal on the board. It was really hard grinding through all of that. And I mean, we were pretty aggressive early game, and I think that it actually worked out for us. But for only only for so long, because at some point, you know, we took more and more damage through the skirmishes that we got there. And in the end, uh, it just crumbled. But let me take a look at how, first of all, the game unfolds. Yes, we will probably lose that, and that is it. But I want to take a little bit of time to compare what we had and what our enemies had. And I do believe we actually did the right thing, as in aggressing, being being in the flanks, being in the backs of the enemy assault max early, and trying to get quick kills done. We got two killing blows, four assists, we got two kill most damage dealt, 600 damage done, 200 taken, and uh, let me take a look again. We had 
that Nova Cat in Alpha Lands. We had a Fafni in Alpha Lands. We had an Annihilator in Alpha Lands on the enemy side. B the Battlemaster. We have an Executioner. Okay, that was a Locust. Yeah, was it awesome? Then, okay, Enforcer, Arctic Wolf, Black Lanner, Rifleman, Urban Mag. So it kind of is switched worlds, but they had like, what, uh, four, five, five? Six assault max, five assault max, I guess. And we had like Urban Max Cicada, Blackjack, Warhammer 2C is cool. Uh, Urban Mac again, uh, Corsair is one assault max. We had a Victor, I mean, there was something on our side as well. Maybe it was just, you know, individual skill and team cohesion and uh, composition and uh, battle plan and uh, positioning and whatever. Anyway, didn't really want to or don't really want to over um, analyze this here. We lost, but it was close and I had a blast. So let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty, second game of the day. We are playing the Frozen City Classic and uh, yeah, I'm using Heat Vision here because otherwise it's really hard to see through anything. And I do believe it is time, finally time, to do a proper tunnel, tunnel push again. Let's go over to Charlie 3, let's see if there's somebody here and I think if we fight something that is energy based, we can actually overwhelm them because we have better DPS than them, probably. The only thing that we are lacking is ECM, which is not that great, so I'm gonna wait. I would say like 10 or 15 seconds because I want to be behind the enemies and I want to harass them there. So uh, let's go now. Yeah, let's go. I hope. Oh, hi. Mm hmm. Is that Locust AFK? Oh, he's AFK. Is he? He's AFK. Well then, should I get closer? I mean, that guy knows. That guy gives sensor information. All right, so we're gonna take that AFK out. Why not? I mean, we can, so let's do it. Hi. Just quickly taking that guy. Yeah, I mean, it's a locust, right? Now, it's... Oh, it's SUAC. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I know, sometimes you just, a you just AFK because something important is uh, going on in your life. You have, like, a doorbell ringing or children are crying or whatever. And, um, yeah, it's kind of bad. I know that guy, so... Hmm. I kind of feel bad for killing him AFK here. But anyway, we have a Mauler. Let's go for the Mauler. He seems to be disconnected from his team, which means we're gonna go for it all together. And down he goes. It's a two versus one scenario now. I do believe it's a good idea to stay a little bit aggressive now. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's help out the Zeus, who is over aggressive now. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. In the back of the Orion. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, that's not great. Okay, okay, not not good guys. Lots of people on the enemy side are going for our teammate that is It's kind of down there and he is kind of alone So we want to try to be in their flank once more Let's see if we can get there and let's see what's uh, gonna happen Actually, ah, yeah, I know we cannot go for that, but our Zeus again. He's a bit overzealous. I would say Let's help him out by also shooting our enemies and uh, hiding behind cover when the retaliation is coming. Ah, that's an LRM boat. I see, I see, I see. I mean, we can certainly, certainly try to um, to dodge what's coming. Uh, okay, Mr. Irby. Get that urban mech, guys. You can do it. I'm gonna harass the, what's it called? The, the missile boat that is kind of hiding somewhere in this region. That's also a guy. That's a crab. Where's the missile boat? I'm, oh, whoa, 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 he's dead already. That's where he is. Hey, crab. Uh, I cannot fight that crab. Not gonna happen. Um, let me get out of here, please. I do not want that. Whoa, this is escalating so hard. Hey, crab, where are you? I have friends now. I got a fav. There he is. Okay. And he's also kind of going for the fabney already. That was... Crazy! That was fast! That was insane! Is he going for me? Not really. No, we're gonna try to get the crab down with the help of the Fafnir. And I think we will, we will def definitely get him here. And we even got the kill. So, one stolen kill, one proper kill. That makes two in the end and it's a 12 and 4 scenario. That was quick. I mean, uh, we got two enemies very early on because one was AFK, the other one was kind of disconnected from the team, and in the end, my team was super duper efficient with the with the push afterwards. We got two killing blows. We got seven assists, one KMDD, 370, about 400. That's okay for a game like that. And we got two components destroyed. Look at that. This is 
absolutely insane. The low damage numbers indicate that everybody was super efficient with killing the foes. The Cataphract 4X here with the 790 damage, top of the game, absolutely. Zeus was doing something and then everything was below 400, except for uh, the Grasshopper here. But uh, anyway, that's your daily dose for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel for more daily content, and um, I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.